snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? My thoughts exactly. I hate snakes. <laughs> well, a little, little Indiana Jones, MacGyver, escape rooms, and classic blood and guts, and you mix it all together, and you get scare for a cure. The hair-raising haunted house making a difference, turning your voluntary torture into triumphs for local charities. Check it out. <laughs> get ready for an adventure. <laughs> This haunted house will take you through ancient ruins filled with beans, unearthed, searching for the fountain of youth. Scare for a Cure volunteer, Alexis Van Zura, helped create it. You never know what you're going to be working on, like working on the tile floor or kind of walls. But now she can't escape it. A woman who's had her skin burned off and is, you know, get some lovely skin from all the different people coming through. This year's theme, Trail of Blood and Stone. We're going to put you in a lot of positions that you're going to think are dangerous, and maybe they are. But we don't really want anyone to get hurt. You can do it! Founder Jarrett Crippen promises there'll be lots of surprises when the sun goes down. Oh. What happened in here? It's 100% volunteer run and 100% of the profits go towards local charities like the Breast Cancer Resource Center. I have lost people to cancer and I also was told in 2014 that I had ovarian cancer and I got very, very lucky. But, you know, I know a lot of people aren't, so this is my way of helping. This haunted house. Oh, man, I don't think they could chase me away. I really like it. Making a difference, sending you running into the ruins in hopes of finding a cure for cancer. Mm, are you interested? I am, yeah. Could so you do haunted houses? I can do haunted houses. Okay. That one didn't seem that bad. It's pretty Is scary. It? Okay. Yeah, there's, well, some, maybe not. there's some stuff that they wouldn't let me show because they don't want to ruin it, yeah. but... Yeah. I love it. It's a unique <laughs> way to help the community. I know, too. yeah. Mm -hmm. All the proceeds go to charities. So you do have one more weekend to take part. Search this story on cbsaustin.com to learn more.